In this video, I'm going to show you how I print an edible image using my brand new edible printer system from Icing Images. Hi guys, it's Carolyn. I'm back with another video and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I have been making cakes since 2002 and I run my own cake business and now through my channel I am able to share the different tips and tricks and ways that I bake and decorate cakes. So if you want to join me along my journey, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. So the other day I posted an unboxing video because I had to purchase a new edible printer because I broke my other one because I'm an idiot <laughs> and I went online to Icing Images website and I got their cheapest, I don't want to say cheap because it's not cheap, it's a very good system but I got their least expensive system because that was what I needed. I didn't need any of the bells and whistles that came along with the other, other systems that they offer. So I can link that video below, you can see what I got in the box. This is my first time printing an image and I wanted to film that for you. So here comes the video. So to do this, I'm gonna use Microsoft Word. It does say on the instructions to use iPrint through Icing Images website, but I've had success printing through Microsoft Word, so that's how I'm gonna do it. So what I want is a picture of Sonic. And I found the picture that I want. So I am going to save this image to a folder and just call it Sonic. And then open up Microsoft Word and insert the picture. Now, I measured the side of the cake and I need Sonic to be five inches high, at least. And what I like about Microsoft Word is that there are rulers down on the side, down on the side there and across the top. So you can see how big the picture is. So I'm just going to make this a little smaller. And that is about the size that I'm gonna need it. Now here's the printer that I got. I did film a video of me unboxing this. This is a Canon TS702. And what I do, I always keep these envelopes that the icing sheets come in. And when I use an icing sheet, if I don't use the whole thing, I store it in these envelopes so the sheets don't dry out. That's just a little tip there. I also have a video where I show you how not to waste your icing sheets and I can also link that below. So what you want to do in this particular model, I find that it feeds through the back feeder. So I just open that up and then I'm going to pull this piece forward and feed with the um, paper comes with a little plastic strip sticking out at the bottom. If this, was, if this was a full sheet of paper, it would go all the way to the edge, but I already used that little piece here. So I'm gonna put this, this is going to be the top of the paper and it's going to feed through this way and print on the top. So whatever part that you want the printer to print on, you're gonna want it to face towards you. So I'm gonna load this in the printer and then cover, press that little piece back. You have to pull this tray out before you print because the paper is gonna end up on here. And this is pretty much going to take up the whole top section of the page that I loaded in. So now I want to print it. I will just go to File, Print, and make sure that it's set up on my Canon because I have another printer that I use for other things. And then print. And look how pretty this is. This printer prints beautiful pictures. What I'm gonna do now is just set this aside for a couple minutes and let it dry. And then I will cut it out and put it on my cake. 
but this is the printer system. I will link my unboxing of this below to show you what came in the whole system that I got from Icing Images. But as you can see, I'm just using Microsoft Word to print. If you do not have Microsoft Word, you are going to want to use iPrint. And I'll show you how I cut this out and put it on fondant just so I don't have to link the other video. So what I did, I rolled out white fondant. You can roll out any color that you like. I rolled it out pretty thin, about a 16th of an inch thin, would that be? Like always, when I roll out fondant, I mix a little Tylos powder in with the fondant. A little bit goes a long way. You only need like half a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon for this much. Knead it into the fondant, roll it out, let it sit for like 20 minutes so it can hold its shape, and then you'll be able to cut easily out of the fondant. Now what I'm gonna do, just peel this off, and I'm gonna cut Sonic out. Sonic is all cut out. Okay. So I'm going to flip him over. I have some piping gel. Um, I like CK and I also like Wilton. This is actually, <laughs> I bought some Wilton piping gel and I put it in here because I really like this container, but I guess really any piping gel will, would work. Get a paintbrush, flip it over, and I'm going to take a little bit of piping gel and paint the whole back side of Sonic. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you don't get piping gel on the front. So you want to try to keep it down on the surface and paint. I always paint to the edges, but you have to be careful when you paint to the edges. If you get some on the table and then you move this, you're going to get piping gel on the front of the picture and you don't want to do that. So just be careful and make sure you try to keep it in the same spot as you're painting it. And I'm going to the edges, I'm going off of the picture to make sure that every bit is covered. Now I'll lift this up so I don't move it. Just take something with a sharp edge so you can lift it up. And you don't want to touch the front with any sticky fingers take this wet paper towel and wipe this off. Okay. Now I'm going to lay this down and try not to get any air bubbles behind. So I'm going to lay down on one end and then slowly let it fall to the fondant so no air bubbles form behind it. And then press it down the whole way making sure that every edge is pressed down against the fondant. I like to keep a wet paper towel to wipe my X-Acto knife because as you cut, as you cut this out, the fondant will start to stick to the knife and you could just wipe it off. Take your X-Acto knife and just cut out the whole thing. Okay, like always, after I cut anything out of fondant, I'm gonna take my finger and smooth the edges because a lot of times an X-Acto knife gives you, I call them dirty edges, but they're just rough. They're not smooth. There's like little pieces sticking out here and there. So just take your finger and smooth the whole thing. Sometimes you can take a little tool or Dresden tool and if you need to, use that to get into little spaces, you know, just making sure everything is smooth. And there is edible image, Sonic, ready to go on the cake. So there you go, there's Sonic all printed out, all pretty and perfect. I really like that new printer system. It is, um, it prints beautiful pictures. I haven't had any issues with it. 
and um, it's really simple to use. So as I keep working with this printer, I will keep filming different videos so you can see the different ways of how it works. I hope that makes sense. And I always say I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> anyway, so right now I'm not going to put Sonic on the cake yet. What I do, I have a, I'm putting him on a six inch cake. So I have a six inch cake dummy here and I'm just going to let him dry on the six inch cake dummy so he can dry with a curve. If I let him dry flat, then when I go to put him on the cake, he's gonna be flat. If I want him to curve against the shape of the cake, then I want him to drive with a, dry with a curve. I have two little pins underneath here, so this won't roll as I sit it down on the table. I did mention in my other, in my unboxing video that Icing Images recommends that you use their iPrint system when you are printing pictures on the edible printer. Now, I have Microsoft Word. I don't have any issues using Microsoft Word to print with this printer. But if you do not have Word, you may want to make sure that you use iPrint. So please run a couple test pages through and make sure on, on regular paper, not on edible icing sheets and make sure that you are printing the correct picture in the correct space and nothing's getting cut off or anything. And you don't have to put the edible image on fondant. I just find that I like to do it that way because the edible image doesn't wrinkle. So by putting it on fondant, it seems to hold its shape better than if I just put it on the cake itself. But I like to use piping gel to adhere it to the fondant rather than water. I just feel like it holds better, but you can use water if you would like. You just have to make sure that you don't use too much water so it won't melt the icing sheet. But I think that's it. I really like this new system. I'm not affiliated with Icing Images, but I can link their website below. If you are thinking about getting an edible printer, you should really try this out. It's not as scary as it seems. It's easy to work with, and it really does produce a, a nice result. So if you have any questions, leave them below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I try to answer my YouTube comments once a, once a day in the morning before I start to work. And please like this video if you liked it. It really helps out my channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this. And you can follow me on social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram and I have my website. I will link all of that below. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.